Hey, Donald, can you hear us? Uh, yeah. Awesome. Thanks for joining us for a few minutes, and uh, we're going to start with questions, if that's cool with you. Of course. Awesome. We're going to start with Chris Stock from Inside the U. Chris, if you had a question. Yeah, Don, are there NFL running backs you enjoy watching or uh, try to emulate your game after? Uh, yes, most definitely. Uh, I want to say Todd Gurley because uh, – He's like, you know, all-purpose back in catch. He power, he's a powerful back, strong, all that he can run. So I, I kind of try to model my stuff after, after him. Awesome. Donald, we're going to go to David Ferrones at the Sun Sentinel. David, if you had a question. Hey, Donald. Yeah, um, I want to know uh, what's been your biggest uh, transition so far uh, to the college game, you know, going from high school to college. And obviously you had the spring, but uh, you were hurt during it. So, uh, so specifically fall camp. Uh, my, probably my biggest transition was probably, you know, we run the, the air raid. So it's like, it's ridiculous. Like the condi the amount of conditioning that we have to do is, is, is a crazy amount. And, you know, me being hurt, I wasn't really like, you know, in for it. I wasn't, I was like sitting there like, oh man, this is, it's going to be easy. It's going to be like this, this and that. And then the first day of practice, when it really hit me, I was like, okay. All right, I need to, you know, focus more on condition. It's gotten a lot better now, but but before it was real, real hard. Great. Don, we're going to go to Matt Shodell at Kane Sport. Matt, if you had a question. Yeah, hey, Don. Um, you know, I was curious. You got, obviously, yourself, Jalen, Cam, even Robert. You know, what, what sort of role are, are you expecting? You know, I, I know um, you guys are probably going to roll running backs in and out, but what do you see for yourself this year? How do you see yourself being used? Uh... Uh, you know, I, um, you know, playing with them is it's gonna be real good. You know, it's, we run an air raid, like I said, so uh, everyone gets the opportunity. You know, when you get the opportunity, you just gotta make the most of it. Because I was talking, you know, I talked to like Frank Gore and all of those those great backs, and they told me like when they got the opportunity, they made the most of it. So that's just what me and Jalen and everybody else is gonna have to do. Great. Donald, we're going to go to David Lake at Inside the U. David, if you had a question. Hey, Don, I wanted to ask you just how you feel like um, your skill set uh, complements maybe Jalen Knighton's skill set as a running back. Do you guys do uh, things differently well, and what would those things be maybe? Uh, I want to say we, we do things. We, like, we're pretty coordinated with each other, like, if one doesn't have it, the other one has it, if you get what I'm saying. Like, um, like I don't know how to explain it, but I, I would say that we're, we're kind of the same back, you know. Like I said, if one's missing something, the other one has it, and that's, that's very useful for this offense, you know. We're going to go to Chris Perkins at Sports Illustrated. Chris, if you had a question. Hey, Don, I know you uh, had success in the first scrimmage, and Manny Diaz was saying kind of for you and Jalen in the second scrimmage, he had to tell you guys to slow down, don't try to house everything, take what's there. How tough is that for you? <laughs> I see you smiling there. How, how tough is that for you when you, you're probably used to housing it from high school? How, how tough is it to be patient and, and follow what Coach Diaz is telling you? Uh, it's, it's really it's, – it's Coach Manny, Coach Lashley, and Coach Hickson – they're, like, always telling us, like, and Coach Lockett, they're always telling us, uh, like, you know, it's, like, slow through the mesh, fast through the hole. And with me and Rooster, like, we, we try to go fast on everything. And sometimes, you know, it hurts us. Sometimes it helps us. But it's, like, it's, it's real hard for us, you know, to slow down because if we see something, like, we see something early. Because in college, I, I've never seen nothing like it in high school. But in college, the hole, it opens and closes, like, real fast. So if you don't get there, you gotta you gotta wait, you gotta look around and like, you know, we don't have really have time for that. So it's like with me and Rooster, we we practice on it, we practice on it, we practice on it, you know, sometimes we make mistakes. But uh when we see something, we try to get there real fast, like really fast. And like thank God for the speed, because we you know, because we gotta focus on traction and getting the right steps. We don't do that, you know, we get loafs and we don't want all of that. Awesome. Don, we got time for a couple more. We're gonna to go to Susan Miller Degnan at the Miami Herald. Susan, if you had a question. Yes, hey. Um, how is Cam Cam Harris helping you 
And also, um, how do you envision this season being overall with, you know, with everything that's been going on, the schedule change, COVID-19 situation? Um, how different has this been? Uh, first, let, let's talk about Cam, because Cam is the best leader I've ever had in my entire life. I've never met anyone how met anyone like Cam to be on me every day. We work out after the workouts. Like I, I'm just like I'm real grateful for Cam and and you know as much as I would like to have DJ here, but um, Cam's Cam's really filled that role as a leader. He's a role for every position on the offense, you know. And sometimes he you know he goes to the defense, tell them like yo you know you gotta do this like step up like give us a good look, like Cam's a real life, like, leader. And, and you know, me and Rooster, we're really grateful for that. And I couldn't ask for any better. And uh, what, what was your second question again? I was asking about how strange, you know, this whole time has been with COVID and your schedule changing. And it's not what, you know, a top recruit would imagine when they get out of high school. What's it been like? For you, I guess it helps being near home also. Uh, it's, um, I'm not even going to lie to you. It's, it's still the same. Coach Hickson and Coach Lashley, Coach Manny, they all, you know, they all tell us, like, look, we're still here. We still got to play. We're still here for the same reason that, like, you know, everybody else is still here. And um, it's, I don't think there was much of a change because, you know, I just, you know, I just started playing with him. So, like, that would be probably more of a better question for Rooster because, you know, he played in the spring and stuff like that. But I, I don't really see much of a change. You know, they're still on us. They're still on top of us, and we all have the same one goal, like, you know, to be a union and just win. Thank you. Great. Last one for you will be Manny Navarro from The Athletic. Manny, if you had a question for Donald. Yeah. Hey, Donald, how you doing, man? How you doing? <laughs> Good. Hey, um, you're obviously a really smart guy, so I know it's probably not much of a challenge to you changing an offense, but you did play in a different offense for a long time in high school. I'm just wondering, you know, the adjustment period to, to playing in, in, in this kind of an attack and then the blocking schemes. Obviously, as a running back, you got to do some of that. I'm wondering how that process is coming along for you. Oh, trust me. It wasn't hard when once Coach Hickson got a – Got a hold of me. Um, the first day we got in there, we went straight to the blocking scheme. Went straight to fronts. Went straight to all of that. And Coach Hickson still to this day, like, as soon as we walk in, like, if we come in for extra film, he'll start all over and go straight to the blocking scheme and go straight to the fronts. And I'm sitting here like, oh, again? But, you know, <laughs> he's obviously doing it for a reason. And I'm grateful for that because, you know, sometimes I do forget. And then he's like – he throws these little cheap shots like, oh, like, see, look, I knew you was going to forget it. Now let's get back to it. <laughs> and uh, But he, he's made it real easy for me, especially Coach Lashley, like talking to them, like they'll give me, you know, like little tricks, like, um, and it just helps a lot. It goes a long way, especially when you're tired. We don't get tired over here. <laughs> Thank awesome. you, man. Donald, thanks for taking – Thanks for taking a few minutes with us today, and I'm sure we'll be talking to you soon. Good luck uh, rest of the week of practice. All right, thank you. Send you booster in here right now. All righty.